So, in this scenario, we would have a global emissions market where countries and businesses would be allowed to trade carbon credits in order to meet the national climate targets that countries have set. In the end, it doesn't matter or really matter who reduces emissions where, as long as they are reduced to a certain level globally, so that we can keep global warming at maximum 1.5 degrees Celsius. What is an example of the type of credit trading that we might see? Well, so far we are seeing a number of bilateral country agreements, and we think this will happen much more. For example, we already see Switzerland has entered into agreements with Peru, Ghana and Senegal to buy credits from, the tem from them to be used towards its own climate targets. This collaboration includes financial support from the Swiss government, so there is an element of financing to get projects off the ground as well. This is one way to drive climate finance to the global south, where it is much more difficult to find loans and equity for climate projects. And these projects have a big impact on other things, apart from just reducing emissions. For example, the development of electric scooters lowers city pollution and has a positive impact on people's health, which we call it social co-benefits. In the meantime, the actual rules that govern this trading need to be agreed on, hopefully at COP26. The obstacles that remain are avoiding double counting. This means how can we avoid that two governments claim the same credits? Another question is around existing climate action projects that have already been started. Will they be able to be part of the new emissions market? These don't have easy answers, but some very bright minds are working hard trying to figure out ways that all countries can agree on a rulebook that is not complex, but at the same time is credible, transparent, and cannot be deceived.